This is the most shameless Jian Sun Huan I have ever seen. Han Zhu is 17 years old. Jian Sun Huan bathes Han Zhu every day. For more than 10 years, Jian Sun Huan has taken good care of Han Zhu. Just waiting for her 18th birthday to marry Han Zhu as his wife. This is a movie that breaks the three views. Countless people regard it as a masterpiece, but some people call her a garbage porn, free from the edge of morality. But deeply in line with human nature, Han Zhu was picked up by Jian Sun Huan 10 years ago, and the two have been living on the fishing boat. As Han Zhu's day of adulthood approaches, Jian Sun Huan is also looking forward to it. One day, an accident happened, which completely shattered Jian Sun Huan's fantasy. One day, several men went fishing on the boat. Han Zhu brought beer to the guests, Kate grabbed Han Zhu's hand, the other person's behavior was even more excessive, directly pulling Han Zhu onto his lap, and then verbally molested Han Zhu, and this scene happened to be seen by Jian Sung Huan, just when they were more presumptuous, a sharp arrow shot out, and Jian Sung Huan's bow and arrow was aimed at them, the two quickly let go of Han Zhu, and Han Zhu, as usual, helped Jian Sung Huan pull out the arrow and turned away, T this moment Jian Sung Huan put away his bow and arrow, but his eyes were full of warning, in order to prevent such incidents from happening again, Jian Sun Huan demonstrated his bow and arrow skills in front of the two. Jian Sun Huan's bow and arrow, the two were stunned, but they still didn't give up their evil thoughts about Han Zhu. The next day, the two came to the boat again. While Jian Sun Huan was busy in the cabin, they showed Han Zhu a pornographic video. The naive Han Zhu just smirked from the sidelines. Yu Zhen stuffed a fish into Han Zhu's clothes. Then the two groped Han Zhu's body, a bow and arrow flew over, and Jian Sun Huan reappeared, saving Han Zhu, but the two didn't intend to let it go. They tied up Jian Sun Huan, and the two set out to capture Han Zhu with all their might. Han Zhu hid in the cabin in time, but the two did not find Han Zhu. When they turned their heads back, Han Zhu pointed a bow and arrow at the two of them. Since then, the two have never been here again. The deeds of the two have also spread here. In the evening, Jian Sun Huan measured Han Zhu's height with a tape measure, and the little girl who used to be had grown up. Jian Sun Huan looked at the calendar, and the time to get married was running out. On this day, another group of guests ushered in on the boat, among them was a very special boy, Kim Jun Siok. He was handsome and different from other guests. Han Zhu was attracted by the other party. Seeing Kim Jun Siok standing on the deck listening to music, Han Zhu quietly walked behind him, took off Kim Jun Siok's earphones, and put them on his ears, and this scene happened to be seen by Jian Sun Huan. Jian Sun Huan came to the two of them and angrily took Han Zhu away. In the evening, Jian Sun Huan bathed Han Zhu as usual. Kim Jun Siok sees this, and Kim Jun Siok doesn't understand that Jian Sun Huan is helping her with the shower. And at this time, Han Zhu also just discovered Kim Jun Siok. She gave Kim Jun Siok a sweet smile, and Kim Jun Siok was completely heartbroken. But the good times are always short lived. Soon, Kim Jun Siok left with the tour group. He gave the Walkman to Han Zhu. Since then, Han Zhu has been wearing headphones whenever he can. Even when Jian Sun Huan came back, it was no longer greeted like before. Jian Sun Huan just threw away the Walkman that Kim Jun Siok gave him. Han Zhu was angry too. Han Zhu purposely sat next to the guest, deliberately seducing the guest. Jian Sun Huan forcibly carried Han Zhu back to the room and then angrily drove away the guests. I thought everything would return to peace. But Kim Jun Siok came back here again. Han Zhu smiled happily. Just when the two were leaning together to take a group photo, a sharp arrow suddenly shot over. Obviously, Jian Sun Huan was angry again. Han Zhu angrily pulled out the bow and arrow, and then broke the bow and arrow. Jian Sun Huan realized that this could not go on any longer, so he directly tore off the entire calendar. Only in this way, he could marry Han Zhu as soon as possible. A tea night. Jian Sun Huan held Han Zhu's hand and fell asleep, but this time Han Zhu broke free. Han Zhu came to Kim Jun Sik's room and quietly got into his bed. Just when the two were about to kiss, Jian Sun Huan burst into the room and threw Kim Jun Siok out. Kim Jun Siok couldn't take it anymore. He scolded Jian Sun Huan for keeping Han Zhu on the boat for so many years for his own selfishness. Before leaving, Kim Jun Siok vowed to find Han Zhu's biological parents and then take Han Zhu out of here. Jian Sun Huan was very angry and tore up the calendar directly, planning to marry Han Zhu today.
Just the day before the two got married, Kim Jun Siak brought a missing person notice, it turned out that Han Zhu's parents had been looking for her, Kim Jun Siak came here this time to take Han Zhu away, but Ji Han Sung Hwan tore up the missing person notice. At this time, he already hated Kim Jun Siak, while Kim Jun Siak was not paying attention, Ji Han Sung Hwan shot an arrow, and Han Zhu hardly stood in front of Kim Jun Siak, Ji Han Sung Hwan put down the bow and arrow in his hand. He went back to the room and vented his emotions frantically, at this moment he understood that Han Zhu had completely left him. Early the next morning, Kim Jun Siak took Han Zhu onto the boat, but they didn't know that Ji Han Sung Hwan had secretly tied a rope to the boat, and he wanted to use this to make Han Zhu leave. As the boat drifted away, Ji Han Sung Hwan's eyes were red from being strangled, facing the moment of death. Ji Han Sung Hwan picked up a knife and wanted to cut the rope. Fortunately, Han Zhu found out at this time, Han Zhu picked up the axe and cut the rope, and then quickly turned the bow of the boat, Han Zhu still chose to turn his head. And the two hugged each other and cried bitterly. In the end, Han Zhu decided to fulfill Ji An Sung Hwan's wish, and the two put on their wedding dresses, then the wedding ceremony was completed under the witness of Kim Jun Siak. Ji An Sung Hwan drove the boat to a distant place, and Kim Jun Siak could only wait on the boat for Han Zhu to return. Soon after, the boat came to rest on the sea, Ji An Sung Hwan took off Han Zhu's dress, then picked up a bow and arrow and shot an arrow symbolizing desire into the sky, and Ji An Sung Hwan jumped into the sea, I don't know how long it took, but the boat came back, when Han Zhu woke up, the bow and arrow suddenly fell down, and the blood on the white skirt also symbolized that Ji An Sung Hwan had fulfilled his wish, and at the end of the movie, Kim Jun Siak took Han Zhu out of here as he wished.